Um, the second example is called a diet problem. So the goal of diet problem is to select food that satisfies the daily nutrition requirements at uh, the minimum cost. For example, we have a um, menu from McDonald's and um, each um, uh, item of food um, has some nutrition facts, okay? And um, serving size, calorie, carbs, how many fat, um, okay? And then let's say we have um, some um, lower and upper bounds from each uh, nutrition on daily basis. This is like a requirement, okay? For example, nutrition, um, uh, calorie, you know, have some minimum requirement is uh, 2000 calorie and there's no upper bound for calorie. Carbs, let's say we have 350 and um, as lower bound and 375 as upper bound. What mean, what we see, calcium, iron, okay? Things like that. So we have um, different food um, at different uh, price point uh, at different volume here is the, in the, um, the serving size, I believe, the serving size. Okay, serving size, uh, maybe four ounces. Um, yeah, and um, then we have uh, the nutrition fact of each food, okay? Let's say cheeseburger have 510 um, carbohydrates and 34 grams of protein and um, 28 vitamin A, 15 vitamin C, calcium, iron calories, okay? Oh, uh, this is, should be calcium. Okay, and um, now the goal is, hey, what um, kind of food do we need to eat to meet the requirement of the nutrition, um, the nutrition um, recommendation on a daily basis? And uh, what is the, the the cost I want to we want also want the cost to be minimum. Okay, basically you want um, get some food as cheap as possible. Meanwhile, re meet the requirement. Okay, for example, uh, for example, we for this model we have two sets. One, the first set is set of food, and the second set is set of nutrition. Okay, and um, we have several parameters. First is for um, for cost serving of food I, okay, cost of per serving, okay. And then we have the cost uh, amount of nutrition J in food uh, I. This is basically the this table here. And we have the minimum level of nutrition J and the maximum level of nutrition J, which is um, this table here. And then we have volume per serving of food, okay? Which is um, here, this column, volume here. And um, the maximum volume food um, consumed. Okay. Let's imagine we have some go, you cannot uh, uh, consume more, more than like, let's say um, 3,000 calories per day, okay? Okay, so the variable here, um, there's one variable, variable here, uh, number of servings of food uh, that I to um, consume, okay? And the objective here is to uh, minimize the total cost of the food. Okay, cost I times XI sum over I. We have several setup constraints here. The first one is limit, limit the nutrition for each nutrient. Okay, so, so this XI, number of servings of food and times uh, AIJ, which is uh, the matrix, right? The amount of nutrition J in food I. This has to be uh, greater than greater equals to the um, the lower bound of um, recommendation, and um, uh, lower or equals to uh, 
um, that's equals to the uh, the maximum nutrition recommendation. Okay. And then we limit the volume of the total food consumption. Okay. So we call the um, the Python Python package, and then we import. Um, in this case, we have a CSV file, which defines um, the nutrition's nutrition's CSV. This is basically um, this matrix here. Okay, let's run this. Let's see what goes into here. Nutrient. Okay. We first initialized the model and reading this matrix here. And then um, we uh, set um, we use two sets, we have two set, right? Set of food and set of nutrient. When we initialize this by um, the index, which is the food here and in from the uh, pandas uh, data frame and the columns being column name as nutrient, right? We initialize this. And then um, we use the, um, in order to um, make this matrix, we use the pandas function stack into dictionary um, let's see, print, actually print this um, here to show. What's going on? Well, basically this create a dictionary and to uh, map this 510 um, 10 into um, um, uh, index by two um, keys. Okay, and then we Create, or create our parameters, a nutrient. So this one has two dimension, right? One is the food and the other dimension is nutrient. So we initialize this um, using the nutrient um, dictionary we just created, okay? And then we, for, and then we define more um, variables in this case, um, nutrient mean, nutrition max, so these are actually empty. We don't have uh, upper bound um, for um, the nutrient. So in this case, actually, this is three three seventy five, right? Yes. So um, then, then we're gonna um, uh, then we can use uh, NumPy. Uh, this is actually an alternative way to to implement this in in Pyomo. You can take advantage of uh, numpery, make this uh, list to to a numpery, um, and mean equals numpery um, and min, and then we can um, assign this. Um, if it's none, we just assign this to infinity as the uh, as the um, upper bound. Okay, makes sense. And then we use a uh, dictionary with zip and dictionary to convert um, this new uh, nutrient uh, requirement into a dictionary form. Okay, we can just actually print one here. Let's go in here. See, carbohydrate 2000, uh, 2000 protein 350. Okay. And then we put uh, the, um, the dictionary into our parameters of the model. Okay. Let's see, we have some parameters for volume. Um, the maximum vo uh, volume of the food we, we servings we want to control. So, and then uh, we have uh, several other constraints, um, cost and volume. Similarly with dictionary and zip, in this case, we don't have non array. It's also fine to to uh, just declare this without using the NumPy array, okay? And then we put into the um, parameter of the model, 
initialize equals to um, the dictionary here. Okay. Now we have all the parameters. Next one, I'm going to uh, define the variables. We have only one variable here, um, the x. A set of food, basically we want to see how many um, servings for uh, each food we want, okay? And domain is non-negative integers. Okay, serving is uh, integers. Uh, then we defined our objective. We can define the objective outside using the uh, the function here. Um, we say summation over the uh, cost, right? And um, the var x variable. The objective is being, uh, we control on a, uh, the cost of uh, all the food, uh, right, to be minimum. Okay, we can just uh, put into this uh, def uh, definition function here using the rule and sense is minimize. Okay, so, all right. We can also define the objective using return to use the sum function instead of summation. Okay, then in this case, for sum, we have to uh, write this uh, index i, uh, cost i times uh, uh, xi for i e, e model um, set food. Okay. And then we set um, the first constraint, the nutrition um, constraint, the value. Similarly, we define the value here Right, this is our um, the total assumption of the um, <coughs> of the value. Right, this is sum over um, x i times the nutrition x x j for i equals to uh, in uh, model set of food. Right, then we return this. Actually, we return this. This is a lower bound here. This is. Uh, for each j, we have a value, right? This value has to be between the minimum value and maximum value. Then we can also use a function from the Piomo in inequality function. We just say put the, um, the um, um, lower bound and upper bound here, okay? And then we put the constraint into a rule here. We call, it, um, we call this constraint um, root uh, nu nutrient here. You put the definition of, um, um, this is for each uh, nutrient, we have a constraint, right? For each nutrient, we have a constraint. And um, then the rule is this uh, rule uh, function we just created. Make sense? Oh, didn't run this. We have to run this. Okay. Now we have some details of the model. Okay. And then um, we have another constraint, right? Oh, yeah. So, so the, the other constraint is volume capacity. We sum over um, the x variable times the volume for each um, food in times, uh, and this summation of this has to be uh, lower, uh, less or equals to some uh, maximum value we defined. Okay. And then we put this into um, the constraint. And then uh, once we are set, we just use solver uh, factory, and we, in this case, we use CBC. If you have a CBC installed in your computer, then we can just solve it. Oh, actually, you have to run this first. Um, maximum is not defined. We didn't run that maximum um, here, 75. Okay, we run this. Okay. And then we print this. We can actually print this very messy. And then we can retrieve the stuff we want. In this case, it's, it's the how many servings for per, per, um, food we want, right? Product one, we have how many? Uh, roughly 10 items. 
and then we just for each product how many um, servings do we want. Okay. All right. So that's how we implement diet problem in, in pandas. Let's jump into the, the, the R. Okay. In R, um, I think it's pretty much the same. Um, okay, we have defined some um, parameters here. Great. Uh, let's just change this to 735. You're reading in the matrix, nutrition data frame matrix. And um, the full set is the uh, column, which is the, um, um, the first column. And nutrition set is the column names. Okay. And um, then we generate this matrix. Okay. And then, um, then it's pretty straightforward. We declare the model, we add a variable, okay. I equals to one uh, to length of the food set, how many uh, food we have. Um, then the type um, of the variable is integer, lower bound is, is, is zero. So basically this is non-negative integer, okay. And then we set an um, objective, use some expression here. We want to minimize, you know, the total cost of food, and then we add some constraints here. Sum over um, uh, x i variable times nutrition's, and um, right. So this thing here is is going to be. Um, yeah, this sum over here is uh, going to be greater or equals to uh, a lower bound. And then we basically um, duplicate this, uh, same uh, constraints. And in this case, we are uh, lower than the, um, the upper bound at max here. Okay, our last constraint is the maximum volume constraint, sum over this xi times each volume of the uh, serving, and then uh, less or equals to this max volume uh, limit here. And then we can solve this using GRPK or CBC. Okay. All right, that's our example for um, the diet problem. 